Is that not the biggest water bottle you have ever seen? It's amazing. Okay. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I got my kids for Christmas in 2020. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Katrina. I'm an Australian mum and I have a three and a half year old boy and a one and a half year old little girl. Now I'm going to be showing you what I got them for Christmas this year in 2020. I'm going to start off by showing you what I got my toddler, my three year old, and then I'm going to show you what I got my one year old. I will leave timestamps down below so that you can skip to what age your child is. So you can use this as kind of like a gift guide for yourself. Now let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my toddler, as I said. Actually, I want to show you this advent calendar that I got. It's a storybook advent calendar. I got this one from Aldi and it is like, oh, it is huge. I think it was $17 from memory. I'm actually going to open it and show you sort of what it looks like inside and how big the books are. Oh my God. So this is what it looks like on the inside. That is so cute. So they just pull out like this and they're like little individually wrapped books so it just sort of like pops out the side and it's just got this one so it's this mickey's christmas carol oh there's actually a lot of writing in there that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of reading anyway um so yeah they're just like tiny little books and there's one of those in every single pocket i also got my toddler a bluey advent calendar with like little tiny square chocolates because he's obsessed with bluey at the moment going with the bluey theme i went ahead and got him a bike helmet because he is just starting to want to ride bikes and stuff and I thought Bluey is perfect for that so I just got in this little one this is from Target and it's just got this, oh that's loud <laughs> and it's just got this little like horn on the top that will go on like the bike or something I need to apologize if my eyes are like looking over here and then over here I'm just trying to like see that everything is in screen and I need to look this way but the actual camera is this way so I apologize if I'm not looking directly at you and I'm doing all of this but yeah so this is the helmet that I got him he is going to be so excited about this and when I brought it there was also this next to them which is like the knee pads and the elbow pads which I remember having as a kid and they were a lifesaver and I also have the most clumsy three-year-old in the world so these are going to come in handy for sure also to go along with that now we were getting all that stuff for a bike for him to learn with a bike but I saw a friend's three-year-old had roller skates and I thought wow like completely forgot about roller skates I used to love roller skates as a kid and these were sitting right next to the helmet how cool are these now these are like training skates so they have like the wheels that come out to start with so it's like skates to begin with so they can learn and then once they're good they go into like a one inline skate once they know how to skate which i thought was amazing because it can grow with him as he gets better with it that is for three plus year old so he is three he'll be about three and a half at christmas so that is perfect for his age and i'm just so excited that i saw them because i had completely forgotten about skates and that was like one of my absolute favorite things to do as a kid another thing my toddler is into is lego so i went ahead and grabbed this he has a few lego sets already that he got from like last christmas and his birthday which was in july i went ahead and grabbed this big lego classic set this is from big w but i think you can get this one from target as well and this just has like a booklet of ideas included and it's got just like a whole bunch of Lego in there, like heaps. So he can just, you know, use his imagination and go crazy with whatever he wants to build. He does like to follow instructions, which is why I was glad it had a idea booklet in it. So that come in handy. So yeah, he is going to love this one. I also went ahead and grabbed two of these Lego plates. These came from Big W as well, but I'm pretty sure you can get these almost anywhere. Target, Kmart, things like that. He only really plays with Lego while my one-year-old is in bed just for safety reasons because obviously she puts everything in her mouth so this will be good that he can stick it on this and put it up high and play with it later and continue to build what he was building rather than having to start again every single time so again with the bluey theme he is going to go crazy there is just so much bluey here i went ahead and got him this five in one games pack so that comes with snap war go fish and old maid memory so they are all card games that we all remember as kids and i'm excited for him to have a play with those get him off the tv for a while then i have gone ahead and gotten this board game for him which is dinosaur operation i had an operation game when i was a kid and i was obsessed with it like i absolutely love it see i'm talking to myself again sorry about that 
when I saw this, I just thought I have to get it. If he doesn't love it, I'm going to love it anyway. It's going to take me down memory lane. And I'm so excited for him to give this one a shot. I hope he loves it. Another thing that I got my three-year-old is this laptop. Since the pandemic started and coronavirus started, we have been working from home. So my partner works from home. I also work from home on the laptop editing and things like that with my YouTube channel. And he's always wanting to have a play on them and stuff. And it's just not always the right time for him to be on our laptops. If we're like in the middle of something important, he can't really be pushing buttons. So I thought how perfect when I saw this laptop, it's for three to six year olds that he can have his own laptop to sit on if we're both busy, you know, working and things like that. He can sit there with this and he can have a play with this. Now this comes with 30 learning activities, teaches 60 plus words, spelling, shapes, logic, and more, 40 melodies, personalize your laptop. It teaches phonics, phonics did I say that right? Uh, counting letters and instruments. So that teaches quite a lot. It has like a little mouse here on the side, which he loves clicking the mouse on my partner's computer. And it's got like a little, um, like handle so he can carry it around because I think he's really going to love that. It'll, he'll sort of feel like he's, you know, being like mum and dad, like a grown up. So that's going to make him happy. That is everything that I got for my toddler when it comes to the bigger presents. I also have a stocking and a Christmas Eve box, what we call it a December box that I also have stuff for, which I will show you later in the video that's over there. But we also have a lot of grandparents that love to spoil my kids. So I try not to go overboard with the presents that we get him, as I know there's going to be a lot more coming in from other people as well. We are so, so lucky and grateful for that too. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got my one and a half year old for Christmas. So to start off, I just went ahead and got her this pink bike for outside. My toddler actually got one of these about a year or two ago and he loved it. It got such good wear out of it. One of the handles actually broke off. It was used so, so much. So we went ahead and got another one of those for my one-year-old. So hopefully she gets as much use out of it as he did. Then she is really into washing her hands at the moment. She loves using like the soap dispenser and all that stuff. And it takes so long holding her up on the bench and all that stuff. So I thought I would go ahead and buy this scrub and play smart sink. Now, although I don't think you can actually put water in this one, it has the soap pump motion that she loves and also the tap motion that she loves. And it like has that spin down there. Now it also has like this little oven door thing that opens up that you can put things in. Is it an oven or a dishwasher? Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's a dishwasher. So it has this little dishwasher door that you can put the dishes in. It also has like all these other things. Uh, it's got like dishes and stuff. And apparently this play in here can recognize the size of the dishes and it like teaches things like that. Pretend to wash dishes in the sink and hear the soap pump count from one to 10. Press the light up tap for pretend water sounds. So it goes out, like if you put, like it says there, if you put the green plate in, it says green plate. So it teaches them a lot as well. And I just thought she is going to have so much fun with that. And it's going to save me holding her up at the sink for 20 minutes every day, just so she can wash her hands over and over and over again. So I really think that she is going to love that. Then I went ahead and got her this 100 words book. So this is for English and Chinese learning. Now, at first I saw this and I thought, I don't want to confuse her with the two languages. But then um, when I really thought about it in Melbourne, where I am, we have a lot of Chinese people living here. So it's probably like, I'd almost say it's like 70% Chinese, 30% Australian. So really, in reality, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea for her to learn Chinese. I mean, even if she does only use the English version for now and as she gets older is interested in learning the Chinese language, I just thought, what a good buy. It's always great to know two languages. I know myself, I've always wanted to know a second language. So maybe she will feel the same way. <laughs> So that's, so that's in Chinese, sorry. I know when my toddler was first learning words, he would just point at things and we would say what it is. And that is exactly how we learn. It was the easiest way for him to learn what things were. So I thought this is perfect. All she has to do is push on whatever she wants to know and it will tell her exactly what it is. Every time she points, it tells her. That is genius. I really think that it's gonna help with her vocabulary. So that is all that I got my one-year-old. And again, we have a lot of family that are going to be spoiling our kids this year. We are so, so lucky. I know my mom's getting her like a play kitchen, a like life-size one. So that is going to be awesome. That's another huge gift. So we really didn't need to go overboard. So we really just wanted to get the main bigger presents that we knew they would love. And then of course, they're going to be spoiled by everyone else, I'm sure. So then I went ahead and grabbed some outdoor activities for them as well and some paint. So I'm just going to show you that stuff as well. To start off, I just got this little like eight paint set, which I know they're going to love. Now, my kids have not really played with paint yet. It's been something I've been afraid to use at home. It just gets messy. We used to go to play group and my toddler would play with the paint there because I knew then we could come home. You know, I didn't have to clean up the mess and it was great. So I've just started grabbing paints for them now. So this is the first one that I grabbed. I thought that'll be a little 
little less messy because they're like harder paints and it just comes with the one paintbrush there. Then I've gone ahead and grabbed these like chubby brushes for my one-year-old. Just it'll be a lot more easier for her to use those to dip it in paint. To go with that, I got these washable paints. So they're like more the wet paint pots that she'll be able to use. It does say three plus in the corner, but of course with supervision, I'm sure they could both play with that one together. Also went ahead and grabbed this paint palette. So it's just got two palettes in there. These are all from Big W, I'm pretty sure. I, I honestly brought these so long ago. I tried to be so prepared this year that I really can't remember where they all came from. But everything here, you'll either find at Big W, Kmart or Target. Then also to go with that, I got this six meter kaleidoscope easel paper roll. We do have a blackboard and whiteboard like double sided thing that I'm just going to go ahead and peg that to. Also to go with the painting theme, I've gone ahead and just grabbed four of these just normal paint brushes for my toddler because I'm sure that some are going to get wrecked pretty easily. So I just wanted to make sure I had a lot of those. Also for outdoors for them to share, I went ahead and got this washable sidewalk chalk. Now this is some of the best chalk they have ever used. I've brought a couple boxes of these. They last forever, but they are so good. Like the colors really show. They're so big and thick. So they're great for one-year-olds to use. These are a couple activities that are more for my toddler that my baby will grow into. So I went ahead and got this grip ball. Who doesn't remember grip ball from when they were younger? This game was the best. Then I went ahead and grabbed two of these tennis rackets with a couple balls. They're just softer balls for my one-year-old and three-year-old to play together. They love hitting the ball around outside. And my partner has a proper tennis racket, which is just a little bit too heavy for them. So I thought this one will be perfect for them to play together with. Now I'm really excited for this next one because I've been trying to get it for so, so long now. I tried to get it for my toddler's birthday in July and I also tried to get it for last Christmas, but it keeps being sold out or, you know, not available for delivery. So finally I found one at our local store. I know they're probably everywhere, but I just got really unlucky with trying to find them. But it is the backyard tennis, that one where you put it in the ground and the ball is on the string and you just whack that around. I had years and years of fun with my brother with this one. We used to be out in the backyard playing this one all the time and we absolutely loved it. I recommend this for any parents trying to find something that will keep kids busy for ages in the backyard. This one's perfect. So then I got a couple little stocking fillers. I haven't finished getting the stocking fillers yet. I'm really not sure exactly what I'm going to put into those because they do have a December Christmas box. So that has a lot of activities and crafts and books and things in it. So the stockings, I'm really not sure what I'm going to put into those, but we will figure that out as we get closer to Christmas. So a couple things that I have brought already is these little bubble guns. The kids love these. So that is just an exciting, fun little thing. A whole bunch of water guns. Now my kids love these out in the backyard, except I am always, always reaching filling them and it it drives me crazy so I went ahead and grabbed a heap so when we go outside I can fill them all up at once put them all in like a bucket for them and they can just go crazy with them and I won't have to fill them up for a while which means I get to sit down for longer and enjoy my cup of coffee <laughs> Then I also grabbed this little bubble mix just in case we run out with any of the toys and things like that. It's always good to have extra on hand. And it also has like a little bubble stick in it as well if we just want to use it as is. Now these I am really excited about. I got these for my toddler. I'm not sure if he's old enough yet for them, but I used to be obsessed with these as a kid. They weren't quite these ones, but they were very similar. So you have to like use like the hammer and stuff that comes in it and like try to get into there to like get the treasure in the middle. And my Todd Lark talks about treasure all the time. I think it's on one of his cartoon shows that he watches. So I think he's going to be really excited about that. And hopefully they're really tricky to get into if he is a bit young for them. Maybe it will take him a really long time to get to the middle. And hopefully that will also give me a longer time to drink my coffee. <sighs> now I have gotten through everything that I got my three-year-old and one-year-old for Christmas. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got my third baby for Christmas. Surprise. No, I'm just kidding. It's my dog. So I went ahead and got him this little like dog Christmas present. He is going to love that. I always like to make sure I get him something from Santa as well because now that we have two kids, he isn't always a center of attention anymore. And so I like to spoil him a little bit when I can. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you what we put in our kids' Christmas boxes. Now, this is the first year we are doing this. This is normally a Christmas Eve box. You've probably seen a lot of people doing those. But I thought that we could open this on the 1st of December and it could have lots of like activities and fun Christmas themed things for the kids to do so they can get really excited over the month of December rather than just the night before, which I think they are going to love, especially with the year we have had in lockdown. It's, it's important. So I went ahead and grabbed this Christmas box. I got one each for both of them. It's just this big, it's just a basic Christmas box. I got this one from the reject shop. I'm not sure if there is a reject shop all over the world, but it's just like a cheap sort of gift store sort of thing. And I just thought this is perfect because if it gets wrecked, that's fine. I do want to eventually get some personalized December boxes for them, but for now, this is going to do just fine. So I went ahead and got two of those. For my one-year-old, I went ahead and gotten two of these. That's not my books. Now I got That's Not My Angel and That's Not My Reindeer. These books are amazing. And they just have like a lot of touch and feel in them, which is great for one-year-olds learning and sensory play. Then for both of them, I got two of these mess-free color burst books. And they just have like textures in them where the color only appears when colored on these pages. Otherwise it is just white and clear, which is perfect for if they decide they wanna go ahead and draw all over the walls, which they have done before. And it takes forever to get it off depending on what they have used. So these are perfect i went ahead and got one of these each for them again this is all stuff from the reject shop which is really cheap they cost like one to two dollars each it's kind of like your dollar store over in america i suppose but for my australian residents these are from the reject shop if you were looking for them it's got like little textures here and it's just got a little stocking to color in so that's a fun activity for them to do on a i was going to say on a rainy day but we have such hot christmases here so i'm sure there won't be a rainy day but it's just something if i need to work or something like that this can keep them quiet for a while and i'm I'm sure they are going to love them. So next I grabbed them these Christmas magic ink books. I got them one each. Again, I'm not really sure if my one-year-old will really be able to do a lot of this stuff, but I got it for her anyway. She can give it a shot. It'll keep her busy while my toddler's doing it anyway. So I'm sure they are going to love those as well. Then to share, I just got them this little stamp pack, which has like a little snowman, reindeer, Santa, tree, a little gingerbread man, and a little present there. My kids love stamps, so they are just going to love those. I'll pop three in each of the boxes. And then I also got this huge sticker pack. This comes with 300 stickers that I'm just going to split up into their sticker boxes. And the good thing about this sticker pack too is that it actually has like a like a split thing down the middle that you can actually... I don't know if you can see it there, but there it's got like that fold and you can actually break them all down the middle. So I think it is made for two kids to share, which is fantastic. As soon as I saw it, I had to buy it. Stickers keep my kids busy for hours. I normally keep like the empty toilet rolls or the empty paper towel holders and they love to just put stickers all over that. So there's an idea for you if you're looking for something to keep your kids busy, that works for hours ages. Then because I got my one-year-old those two that's not my books from that collection, I went ahead and got two books for my toddler as well, which I know he's going to love. Now my three-year-old is really into Where's Wally and he has memorized every single page where Wally is, where Wender is and where, you know, Wolf the dog is and all that stuff. So it's really not a challenge for him anymore. So when I saw this Where's Santa's Elf, I think there's also a Where's Santa Claus book as well, but I went ahead and got this Where's Santa's Elf book. He is going to have so much fun with this one. So it just has like these pages it's exactly like the where's wally books and it just has these pages where you just need to find everything that is on this side here which i know he is going to be so so excited about so i definitely definitely recommend these books if you have a three-year-old because he is obsessed with search and finds and then, then last but not least, I went ahead and grabbed this Seek and Find colour book. I got this one from Aldi as well. And I just thought this is so, so exciting. This is better than any Where's Wally book. So what it has in it is, it's got like a list up the top of everything that is hidden in like the Seek and Find page. And you have to go ahead and find all of those items and then colour them in down the bottom. Isn't that genius? I just think he is going to absolutely love that one. And it has so many pages. Like that is definitely going to last all the way through December, which is another reason why I think it's so, so important to open the box at the start of December because that is just hours and hours of fun that I know that he is going to love. And it's just something that I don't want to just celebrate Christmas for two days, especially with the year we've had. I want it to be a very Merry Christmas. Like I want it to be so, so exciting, special, memorable. I want them to remember this year for how amazing Christmas was, not for how boring it was in lockdown. 
Okay, so that is everything that I got my kids for Christmas this year. I hope you can use this video as kind of like a gift guide for your own kids. And I hope that you got some great gift ideas out of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And give this video a huge thumbs up. I will see you again very soon. Bye. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.